welcome back to Dragon's Persona Chat with yours truly. Persona 4 Arena, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Still the same thing into one. You still have same as usual, blah, blah, blah. We got four more to do the story mode of Arena part. That's a few episodes for today. Other than that, and the Arcamo was three. That's right. I said three other specials we'll do later on in the episode. But first off, let's continue the continuation of the story we left off with a cliffhanger. Also, the story thing wise with this one later on. So, let's do the rest of Nato herself. Here we go! Remember, look before you click anything. You hit the click cliffhanger. Rise san! Look out! I see something glimmering in front of me. Acting purely on instinct. I suck into it. Well, that was close. A low whizzing sound passes above my head. What was that? In case anyone wants to know about this, make sure you get this game on the Nintendo Switch itself, the Steam PC computer, or the PlayStation 4 now while supply is left. And make sure you get one of these pre-order at a good decent price with all the limits you have. I mean it. Anyway, if something gets thrown my way. Natsukun! Say son turns towards me. I look at her from across the room. She crouched down next to something on the ground. On the closer inspection, a red and white lump of feet. Looking near is Teddy. I, I see General Teddy in the back of the room, so the one with Rise son has to be the real one. A girl is standing between Teddy and the general. I never seen her before, but looking at her mechanical body, I can tell who she is. That's Labyrinth. What should we do? That girl wasn't normal. She wasn't even human. I know it sounds hard to believe, but she's a robot or something. She defeated Teddy and, um... Calm down. Are you talking about Labrys? No, Rise san is quite shaken. The not. riddle is solved then. You're not the real Teddy. You're only a shadow taking his form. Yeah, this is like the real one. The shadow of Labrys here, to be precise. Aha! Wow, no wonder they call him. you the Detective Prince now, Chan. You cracked the case. But even if you figured it out, there's still nothing you can do. I carefully watch General Teddy as he stopped. Whatever it was, he threw it. I was too busy dodging. I'm sure he won't hurt his owner until he hears a certain phrase from her, but he also he has no reason to be gentle with the rest of us. That's not good. I point my gun at him, ready for any more of his attacks. However, the next attack comes from a direction I had not been expecting. What? There's a jarring sound. It's coming from a giant axe flying at me. The axe is bigger than I am, spinning through the air towards me. Like a boomerang, it curves back and returns to the hands of its wielder. There are the, there are thrusters behind the blade, allowing the axe to fly as it spins. It wasn't General Teddy attacking me. It was Lapis, not the shadow, but the real one. What's, what's going on? Wait, did she attack me the first time too? That would explain why Rufusan is so shaken up. But the shadow right in front of her, why is she going after me? It's not true. We're human. This is all just a bad dream. I'm gonna destroy everything. I'm human. I can't find any meaning in what she's saying. I want to convince her to stop, but I can't come up with the right words to do. Lapis takes a fighting stance without wasting a moment. It looks like, it looks like the only way to bring Lapis back to normal is to fight. Rise san, please stay back. Now to come. I never really expected to be able to convince her in the first place with the shadow here. I fight the bullet. I will stop her, no matter what. Love it. Don't work out that Nato versus Lapis. 
have uh, her persona. Not yet. Let's go! Now we save, just to make sure. Yeah. Continue. Aw, she beat you fair and square. You really are useless, Labby-chan. After laughing to laugh, the shadow looks at her as if he was trapped. Your whole reason for being is to fight. And you can't even do that. You're not worth a damn. You don't need to exist anymore. The shadow's voice and speech sound begin to slip away from it, impressed in the invasion of Teddy. No, that's not all. The fate Teddy experiences begin to warm as well. Finally, the time has come for it to reveal itself. And here comes the scene for it. PlayStation 4 thing or whatever, because it still like PlayStation 5 connection and the Steam thing to get this game from. Sure, I'll do that. That's about it. It's a commercial that I played with for a while. <laughs> As well. Uh, and here it comes. I'm finding a lot for us a lot from Shadow to Normal and the other control thing as well. <laughs> parts of the story of the Nato, right? <laughs> the form that it takes is as it, I thought last time. I am a shadow. The, the true, true self. self. That's my face. Huh. You, you don't, don't want, want to remember? remember? Fine. You, you can, can die, die like that. that. <gasps> what? Attacking her owner now? Is it a threat to pressure her? No, this is a shadow we're dealing with after all. There is no knowing what it will do. Stop it! <laughs> What's this? Why are you protecting her? It's her fault you all had to fight each other, you know. With that, she turns to her other self and looks down at her with you want the everyday boys and girls to experience what you had to go through, right? That's why we're in a school, having a fighting tournament. That ain't! My home was a horrible place. They made us fight and kill each other just to collect combat data. It hurt so much, but no one understands. How can I make them see me? I know. I'll force friends to fight each other. Maybe they don't understand. No. I want to make them understand. That ain't true. That's not what I want. Oh, yeah? That's still not Then let me take over from here. I'll destroy everyone who pretends to understand. Just like you did before. Stop! I've had enough! Labrys! A sinister aura surges from the shadow. Uh, even the surroundings begin to warp with its energy. The sooner we finish this up by the time the story, the better we can finish the arena ultimate story mode as well. Yes! I promise. The power!
one to get back to the other, and then so on. In an instant, the area becomes dominated by the piercing red light. The view of the from beyond the window has changed completely. I hear Rise some gas behind me. I don't know what this place is more good after, but I get the sense that someone's hard open a living creature's stomach. This is the reflection of Lapras's heart, the suffering she carries. The shadow's golden eyes stand out even more in the dusky reds focusing on me. I change my mindset. There is only one thing to do here. This as my friends did for me. Rise-san, you watch Labrys and Teddy. I got him. Good luck, Natokun. Yes, I'll save her. Nato versus Lapras Shadow. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I'm safe. Finally. Yeah. Fight. Do it. Go oh. out. I must hit! like that you know check it out it's actually a good one sorry i'll get back to the story hand i'm safe well that take care of it as usual the giant creature behind the shadow i had begun to think of it as part of the shadow itself vanishes with a loud roar roar i managed to defeat her she shows no further signs of resistance cautiously i turn around and walk to lapras so who is still sitting on the floor being helped by Rise-san. It seems Teddy has also regained consciousness. He had broken into a sweat, flustering as he stands next to Rise-san. Are you all right? Lapras has a mechanical look on her face as she hangs her head. She's so human-like. The sheer authenticity of expression makes the thought appear in my I didn't have the chance to introduce myself. I'm Naoto Shiragane. You're Labrys, is that correct? She raises her head, but neither confirms nor denies. She just quietly stares at her double cross across the room. A machine given the ability to summon a persona. The persona ability was the primary objective in her creation. The fact that she also developed a heart came as a byproduct. How much suffering did she have to go through, having been treated like a object of suffering? It isn't easy to imagine. I can't claim to understand your pain. It was only today that I learned you existed, to say nothing of the weapons program from which you sprung. But there is one thing I do understand. I kneel and look what Chris Look carefully at me. Do I? seem like a man or a woman to you uh what do you mean you and i are alike there is such a gulf between what we yearn to be and what we are that we have trouble accepting our true nature i know i said this before but i kind of knew and not so it was a girl all along. our true nature just as i cannot break the glass ceiling of my profession you cannot become human that is the painful truth. But if we were able to change, would that truly bring us happiness? I feel there is something only you or I can offer because of who we really are. Is something a machine like me can offer? Yeah. Even if there is something like that, there's no place I belong. That's not true. I'm not human either, but I work at Juness. The part-time ladies give me sweets sometimes and everything. 
the heart is always lacking something. It may be that you and I will be troubled by this same thing for the rest of our lives. But please don't forget that you're not alone anymore. I'm not alone. Don't worry. You're not alone. Nope. That's right! I'll stick to you like glue! And it won't be just us. I'm sure you'll make lots of friends with everyone in town. Yeah. Really? A machine? Like me? Of course. We nod. Lapra stands up and approaches her shadow. They said, it's okay to be me. Doesn't that make you happy too? She takes the shadow's hand. I'm so sorry I locked you up inside me for all that time. But we'll be okay now. I'm not alone. And you're not either, right? Right. And of course, this nice touching scene as well. Look at Neville good old. You can't deny some good features. I'm sorry I ignored you all this time. I was the one who left you all alone. <laughs> no, you are me after all. <laughs> That and the original Persona 4 Golden. <laughs> Labrys, there are some people from the Kurijo group here looking for you. I wonder if they'll stick me back in that box again. Mm. <laughs> of course they will. After all, I caused a lot of trouble. What else are they gonna do? Oh, I can't that. say anything about that for certain. But you should talk with them. It's your right to be where you belong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're right. Is everyone all right? Whoa, Senpai! Uh, you're back from the city already? Never mind him, Kanji Kun. What about you? What have you been doing all this time? You guys know I really wanted to ask that. The shadow host was defeated. The invincible walls must have disappeared. The, this place is familiar to all of us. With the walls gone, finding each other is a piece of cake. Yo, Naoto! <laughs> Guess you made the big meetup after all, huh? I swear, we're tied together by fate or something. Actually, is that the real you, Teddy? <sighs> you're so blind sometimes, Yosuke. Uh, Risei-chan, I'm so glad you're safe. Senpai, you're all here. Yep. Kirijo-san group comes in behind Senpai and the others. The room instantly falls silent. Perhaps some of the others have encountered them during a match before I did. But in general, everyone was shocked to see them. Kirijo-san waits between all of us, waits between all of us and walks directly towards Labrys. You must be Labrys. All of us hold our breath at Kirijo-san's dying day sentence. I'm Mitsuru Kirijo. You may have heard already, but I came to collect you. I... Collect? At that, Labrys takes a step back. I put my hand on her shoulder to confirm her. Comfort her. She looked at me, and I nod. Human, robot, anyone, it doesn't change anything. But no matter who you are, there are things that you have to carry out through your own actions, using your own words. I don't want to go back in that box. Or to that lab. As Labyrinth managed to say it, a voice speaks up from behind here. Mitsuru-san, I'd like to ask that you consider her request. Labrys's, my sister's abilities, 
will surely be useful to us. Please, yeah. can't we enlist her on a trial basis and see what happens? Sister, surprised by an unfamiliar impulsion, and Lapras looks towards me, the, towards the speaker. You're a robot too. It's nice to meet you. I'm Igis, the seventh generation anti-shadow suppression weapon. I'm your successor, sister. We're sisters? answered Lapis with a smile. Amazing. Her tone, her expression, they are all so beautiful. I'd like to third their request. I'm well aware that I'm in no place to make demands on you, but... Hirido-san gave a weary smile after a third option. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like the bad guy. There's no need to worry. I wasn't thinking of guy. sealing you away again. Yay. Really? You've awakened to your persona and gained control <laughs> over it. True, I don't know for sure that the danger is past, but I don't feel that you need to be sealed off from humanity. Particularly yeah. since it's obvious that you have a heart. Yeah. Kirijo-san. Labichan doesn't need to be all alone anywhere? <laughs> Yay! Yay. Uh, Naoto, sorry to interrupt, but who are these people? They kind of look like a bunch of freaks. Yeah, I mean, one of them's not even human. Uh, I guess she's a robot? Huh? Wait a sec. Kirijo? As in the Kirijo group? Wait, what? What's going on here? Oh boy, I got a lot of catching up to do. All my friends begin to look at me. The only one who knows everything. Uh, where should I start? More importantly, how much should I disclose? Either way, it looks like it's going to be a long escalation. First, though, I suggest that we change the location. It's important to share information, but it is, it is impressive that we all get out of here safely. And so they get to the entrance to the way exit. Soon enough, Teddy leads us to the roof. But when he opens the door, we find ourselves in a place that looks nothing like the real thing. Everyone besides Teddy starts to surprise. Outside the door is a space that resembles a TV studio. That's right, it's the place that we used as an entrance lobby to the TV world last year. It disappeared once, but it must have reappeared when Nakras entered this world and created this school here. The others told me that the Midnight Channel is aired again. Whoever watched the broadcast must have isolated. I could educate it since this last year's for airing. That explains why it looks exactly the same. At any rate, it looks like we'll be able to exit here in one piece. As a sign of relief, Kirijo Sun turns. I should introduce myself to the rest of you. I am Mitsuru Kirijo. Yes. I cannot tell you who I am affiliated with or my position, but I bear all responsibility for Labrys. This case, the whole disturbance was mainly due to us. I'm very sorry for putting you in such danger. Okay. Here he goes on some of this sequence of events. Lapras entry into this world was the cause of it all. He and the others came here after Um, her. how do you know Mitsuru-san, Naoto-kun? That's... well... Shiragani was working with us. Since it was our first time in this world, he helped us safely reach Labrys. So, the job you had was to bring Mitsuru-san and the others here? Huh? Uh, well... That was basically it. I'm sorry, but there are some things he cannot disclose. I ask for your understanding in that regard. Sure, sure, detective stuff. I get ya. That's pretty cool. Senada's son and Agus' son don't say a word, even after Kirio's son's explanation. It's not completely a lie, but still, a shrug and sighed softly. And now that the, that she sees that I'm not denying any part of her less than vigilant explanation, I might as well be admitting that my investigation positions me against her. <laughs> I really am no match for her. Yes. Well then, let's all go home! Alrighty, attention please! The trip doesn't end until we get out of the TV! Dude, you really gave us a scare. And this isn't the first time either. <laughs> <sighs> well, at least it ended well. You know, I understand about Risa-chan and Teddy, but 
Why did Kanji Kun go missing again? Huh? Oh, well, because, uh. You needed a change of pace, no? What? Did I misspeak? You said something like, sometimes a man just wants to be alone inside a TV. As if! Alto, you bastard! Why'd you have to tell him that? Ah! Lapras laughs at our small talk. Looking at her, I begin to feel this episode wasn't so bad after all. But suddenly, Lapras' smile disappears and her body freezes in an unnatural position. Lapras? Uh -oh. Lapras does not answer me. Sanadatsan shouts a warning. Get away from her! Crap. Everyone jumps back, confused. Kanji Kun wasn't even sure what he was supposed to be backing away from at first. Soon, though, we all stand around in her in the rain. Lapras stands in the center, completely motionless. What's going on? I don't know. I can only tell that she's probably being controlled from outside. Controlled? As we all watched her, confused and nervous, Lapras' right hand, right hand slowly begins to move. Yeah, is reaching around her back to her thrusters, or rather to the axe. Lapras' eyes were staring blankly into space, but suddenly glanced at Shiragani. Me. The warning comes at the same instant as an attack. I can feel the wind of the axe passes as I bend backwards to dodge the blow. As if she'd gone after anyone else, things might not have been so fortunate. But I'm the only one who actually seen that attack before. But Lapras follows up with something different. Crap, crap, crap. I told a gulp in spite of myself that while light in glitch and glitch behind Lapras, I almost forgotten Lapras now has the power of a persona. Fighting her won't be as easy as it was before. Lapras, why? Never mind, it can wait. Nata versus the control Lapras. We'll save you, Lapras. And now, not the Pokemon world. Well, it is a beautiful Pokemon. Sorry, I had to bring it up. I just can't stand how cute and beautiful the Pokemon are. Let's go. Finally. Fight. Do it. Do it. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> oh, I emerge victorious, but I don't have enough energy remaining to run up to her. I breathe heavily and look at her. Agasan runs towards Lapras and my sister. Are you all right? <sighs> Suddenly, an uncanny voice echoes through the studio. My, to, to think, think she'd she fall so easily. easily. Everyone glances around, trying to find. Where it was I hope that she'd provide more entertainment. entertainment. What, what a disappointment. As, as soon as the, the sentence is complete, all eyes turn towards me. I cannot blame them. After all, this voice was fine. The darkness in the center of the ring hits it and swarms like gel. A face forms on its surface and it hardens into limbs like and a human-like body. It stands up. The thing standing before us was, again, me, her shadow self. No, just something taking my shape. Now to Kun's shadow? Why? I thought you disappeared. I can't stop myself from being filled with anxiety, but I keep my voice calm as I... As I ask this Who person. are you? Once, Once you've gained, gained your persona, persona you're not, not supposed to see your shadow again. again. That's, That's what, what you thought, thought isn't, isn't it? it? Did, Did you really think, think I had gone, gone away? away? <laughs> well, well, too bad. bad. 
Man cannot let go so easily of his weakness. I'm always with you. No, this can't be happening. My friends become, my friends become even more disturbed. They certainly had cause to, cause to worry. Could the same thing happen to them? Will it? I, however, did not stare. Instead, I suddenly understood what had happened. This thing, objective was clearly to, to cause us. Enough farce. You are not my shadow. I want for a copy of me. I know that for two reasons. First, I was able to use my persona in the battle just now. One's persona and shadow are two sides of a coin. If you are my shadow, my persona should have been unusable. Second, right. you took control of Labrys just now. That's an unusual power far beyond the capabilities of a human like myself. Love it. <laughs> I'm sorry to say you've dug yourself a deeper hole by showing off that ability. With a power like that, you could drive a man to extreme acts, which was the missing piece in this case. You mean the hijacking wasn't just the work of a highly motivated crew. Rather, whoever we're talking to now was. Yeah. It was Labrys' dark wish that we fight each other. But what if someone knew beforehand that that would happen? Labrys has a heart, but she's also a machine. Unlike humans, her memories can be tampered with. By using Labrys, you thought you could orchestrate the disturbance her shadow would create in this world. Your objective is as you just said, to gather Persona users, have them fight, disrupt their hearts, and steal their Personas. That's why you're appearing in the form of my shadow right now, to confuse me. You're the real puppet master behind this case. I love our detective work. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised. surprised. Very, Very insightful, insightful of you, Naoto Shiragane. Quite, Quite impressive work. work. I, I didn't expect you to fight back this fiercely. Sadly, it seems things won't be going according to plan this time. But I'll make use of what tools I have to the very end. This is my last chance. No, more like a marvelous entertainment. Now stand, my puppet. Lapis staggers to her feet. There's no doubt now. This is the person controlling Lapis, and she has yet to break free from the Poor thing. It's all worn out because of you. It shouldn't have much strength left to fight. But unless you destroy it, it will keep rising up and attacking you all. What will you do? Lapras <gasps> pointed her axe at me for the second, no, third time. Rather than caution, I felt sympathy. The force killing of comrades against one's will. I see now. This is the path her shadow had talked about. Shiragane, you need to stand back! Front Wait, me. if we all attack her, we may end up destroying Labrys. But she's just under its control. If we can release her, she should stop attacking. I glance over at Rika's huh? Is that possible? All right, I'll give it a try. I have to be powerful enough to do it. I think it's worth trying. However... <sighs> it's no use. What is that thing? It's not a shadow, it's way too strong. I have a feeling things wouldn't be so easy. Out of office, Kirito Sun signals Agus with a troubled look on her face. Agus, prepare for the worst. Agus Sun opens her eyes in shock. A look of an so smith and not the, the good time. But she quickly regains her composure and begins to re ready her weapons. She slowly aims them at Lapis. Realizing what was happening, Rita Sun hesitantly in her death. Wait, let me try again. But uh, Addison pays her no heed. Lapras is in her sight. She looks calm, but it hurts to see her expression. That's only natural. He calls Lapras to suffer. Good. Now suffer. Relinquish, Relinquish your personas. At that very moment, Kirito suddenly looks up. She closes her eyes. She gathers her strength as she had when she tried to establish a line of communication with her own persona. But who is she trying to reach? I see. Now! Who is she talking to? Is there someone else here besides us? As she start, stared at Kirito-san in bewilderment, it happens. Without warning, Lapras freeze, freezes in place. The machinery aura that she had been given off despite since 
in a instant. What? For the first time, I can hear panic in the enemy's voice. Freed from the power of the enemy, Lapras' body collapses to the ground. Agastan's weapons fold back into her body and she runs to Lapras. As, she, as if her, all her pent-up motions were exploiting bot behind her like a rocket. What the heck was that? I don't know. I was getting desperate, too. It seemed like something far away stepped in. Ugh, this, this can't, can't be. be! It's just as we thought. The enemy is taking on your appearance and has no connection to you. Feel free to cut loose. Kirijo's son's voice is full of confidence. I don't know what she did, but when she speaks so confidently, it's impossible to doubt her. I look at the enemy again. My face but with a different expression. There's something I want to ask before I fight. What, what now? Why did you choose me? Of all the Persona users here, why did you use my face? <laughs> Is that all? Of course I chose you. You were the most unstable of the lot. Never quite sure whether to call yourself a man or a woman. Your indecisiveness made you the perfect prey. I pressed my fist. But keep my anger in check. After a moment, I nonchalantly tip my head back on my head. There's actually something I've been curious to know all this time. Last year, when my real shadow went berserk, I was forced to the sidelines. It left me wondering whether I could have overcome that other me on my own. This is the perfect chance to find out. I won't hold back an inch. Booyah! Let's do it! Don't forget to say, not tell versus not the shadow. Although it's a faker being the, the shadow face, so it's not the word. Let's go! Final! Well, at least we got oh, to yeah. do it! Persona! Staggers and falls to her knees. Her face, or rather, mine, wordenly in agony. You did it! You're so cool now, Chan! I can't believe you could go that nuts on something that looked like you. It may have taken my shape, but it wasn't me. I had no reason to relent. Nice way to fight back. I fully believe what I said, but Kanji Kun doesn't seem satisfied for some reason. Kirijo-san looks down at the enemy. You'll be coming with us. There are some things we still want to ask you. <laughs> this, this is, is fine, fine with me. There, there were many, many twists, twists and turns along the way, the way but I'm not displeased with the results. It, it was, was good, good enough for this time that I confirmed you have the power to meet my expectations. expectations. This time, this, this is, is only a temporary form. form. I, I doubted doubt there'd be any meaning in changing my appearance, but sure enough, it made for a very enjoyable game. I will see you in another guys next time. Just wait until then. <laughs> the enemy laughs and begins to fade away. Wait! Of course the enemy simply disappears into the thin air. Who was she? And what was her objective? Trying to separate us from our personas? Unfortunately, I was not I was not able to get to the core of the map. But still, next time, huh? Hell no! Don't you dare come back again! Yeah, what he said! <laughs> Seriously, that was one sick bastard. Copying now, Chan was going too fur! Bad enough that it was in violation of my image rights, taking my form like that! True. I wonder if this is the start of something bigger. Yeah. 
I don't think we should let our guard down. Everyone's face clouds with a fright. No one could have imagined that we would learn to feel some bigger threat like that. Does the enemy plan to cause another incident like this? Are we going to get mad? Is there any more catchphrases? Here is your catchphrase. And I learned that that it appears that through the sun has worried My analysis didn't make it in time. But that was... It's hard to believe. Then again... With a strong look in her eyes, she swallows her fears and comes to the, us as we discuss who the mastermind could in be. In any case, you don't have to worry about it. It's our responsibility from here on out. But it was obviously targeting us. We can't shrug and go on our way after that. He's correct. Given that it's taken an interest in us, we must arm ourselves against it. Of course, you should be aware that the enemy is out there, but there is no need to abandon your lives to pursue it. We will do our best to ensure that no harm comes to you. That is, after all, our duty. I can sense that she is completely smeared. We all trade glances, but we eventually can collide with our leaders possibly to the security of office. There are some lingering regrets, and we have little voice for Kirijan's group was uh, obviously surprised, and they looked quite silly at the TV. What are you doing with this ancient TV? Hang on, where'd you even get this? It's a Teddy Vision! You can get out from here! Oh, this TV is our escape route? Can we really fit inside? Ooh, are you a little too front-loaded to fit? In that case, I wouldn't mind helping you squeeze through! You're even worse than before, you know that? Uh, out we go. We all pass for Teddy TV and make it back to the real world. Of course, Kiri goes on a bit flustered to find herself in the middle of a department store. Lapras looks slightly lonely, but she follows Kiri goes on by her own free will. There shouldn't be anything to worry about. Remembering Agatha's son, gentle smile. I know that they'll make such Lapras a All right. And so the incident came to a close. The following day, May the May 4th, Kiryu's son had stayed in the night pursuing a follow-up investigation and is going back to the city today. May the 4th be with you. Ah, Star Wars. We learned that from none other than Lapras, who had called us all wanting to say goodbye in person. And of course, we were glad to see him off. At an end, Transformation just outside the shopping district. We gather by that oh so familiar in the to exchange parting words with Black. I'm really sorry for causing you guys so much trouble. What are you saying? I had a blast meeting you, Labby Chan. Likewise. But I can't believe you didn't notice at all that Kurijo san was searching high and low for you. You're so thick. <laughs> that is mysterious. I wouldn't hesitate to answer the call of such a beautiful woman. It must have been because I was having so much fun talking with Labby-chan. She, she never gives it a rest. Nope. So, um, what are you gonna do now, Labrys? If you need help, we don't mind sheltering you. Yukiko's house is a great hideout. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm planning on working with Mitsuru-san. We're gonna catch the scumbag who tried to use you guys. This time, it'll be me that's got your backs. Yeah. <laughs> sounds promising. It sounds as though you found a place where you belong, then. Yeah. Sure enough. Come back anytime to hang out, okay? We'll be here for you. Okay. Thanks, you guys. Bye. That first expression. Ready. It, I turn around to see Kirijo's on the other's watching from inside the car. It's Denzel's car. I leave the circle gathering around that person and approach Kirijo san. There is something that I have to confront in her after all this. I time. confess, I had known about the existence of the shadow operatives from the start, as I thought. 
Well, considering what we've both been through, there's no need to keep it hidden from you anymore. Yeah. Why are you taking the lead even if it risks your life? A woman in your position needn't. A great many people were hurt because of mistakes the Kirijo group made in the mm -hmm. past. I won't let it happen again. To leave behind nothing that could jeopardize the future. That's my mission. More than that, it's a vow I made. I feel like she's speaking to someone else. Someone who is not here to her, hear her. She then not to me. Then sincerely her in her eyes is all the confirmation I need. I'm in my line of business. You rarely come across people who actually speak English, but they need people I would call noble. She is one of the few. Her eyes show trust in me, and that makes me proud to know. You've been a real help. About the next step, though, I doubt you'll back down that easily. Who knows? It's not my decision to make. I give a console reply, and Kiri does not shake her head. With a I understand that nothing I say can dissuade you. But I want you to be cautious. Her expression turns serious. This is likely to be a personal warning about the investigation I've been consulting on. Of course, there are those within the Carrijo group who don't think as I do. There are no doubt a lot of dark secrets to be unearthed. The current Carrijo group has drifted away from the family businesses. I am only the founding family's daughter, not the strongest position. <laughs> what an odd warning. It's as if you're showing compassion to your enemy. Well, I too personally hope you find success. You be careful too, Kirijo-san. Yeah. Just call me Mitsuru. Of course, Mitsuru-san. Well, until next time. Yeah. The car seems to park in the direction of the highway. Yeah. We watch as Lapras waves from the window, believing that one day we will meet again. After seeing them off, we head to the food court at Junet's. It's been a bit delayed, but it's time for sen you senpais welcome back party. That these last few days have been full of trouble, but I can't help but feel that some sort of fate has brought us together in the end. Soon, to the topic at hand changes of what you senpai has said. We'll sh we should reform the investigation team, just as Mitsuru-san has predicted. It was the only natural reaction to what we had been through. Not a single one of us objects to the idea, and we'll, we all talk about our plans to continue. Yeah. By the time we slipped up as we arrived home, it was close, close to midnight. But I sat at my desk and turned on my computer so that I may compile my report on the investigation. What follows are my impressions of the organization called the Shadow Operatives, as well as their leader, Mitsuru Kirijo. As a member of the Kirijo Group's founding family, Mitsuru Kirijo strongly wishes for the corporation's stigma to be cleared. Yet the Shadow Operatives are not ultimately a means for her to clear this stigma. Her first priority is to protect and save those who are at risk. The way she handled the lost cargo in this case made that much clear. Yeah. Though discarding it would have been more advantageous and it would have been simple to destroy in secret, she chose not to do so. She sees the restoration of the family yeah. honor as a byproduct of her true mission. I will continue my secret investigation. It is apparent that the Kirijo group still harbors many dark secrets. Mm -hmm. Yet I must note that no matter how their internal affairs are worth watching, we need not trouble ourselves overseeing shadow operatives. Mitsuru Kirijo does not shrink from the responsibilities she bears. We will never gain leverage over her based on her family's sins. Even if the true culprit behind this matter has ties to the Kirijo group, she will... I stopped typing and deleted the last No. This report is no place for conjecture. <laughs> I suspect this is only the beginning. Yeah. Well, that takes care of the investigation team for sure. All right. That leaves the few other ones for Persona 3, FBS Porta. Ooh, look at that. Ah, uh, right. We'll stop here. Until next time, you're Persona 5 fans out there. Persona 4 Arena and Arena Open Next. See you then. Bye-bye.